Hello! In this video I'll be looking at using the Outliner along with Synopses in Scrivener. Each document in the binder has a synopsis associated with it. As I open the inspector you can see that it is represented as the body of an index card. The idea is that you can type in a short but meaningful description of the document here so that you can see at a glance what your documents are about when working with them in the Outliner or corkboard. We have a number of ways available to generate the document synopsis. Highlighting editor text, then clicking this button will use the selected text. With no text selected, pressing the same button will auto-generate a synopsis from the first few sentences of the document. If you import a document into Scrivener, depending on the version that you are using, the synopsis will already be completed. But generally, it is best to write your own synopsis in order to give it pertinent meaning. If we click on a folder, the subdocuments are opened on the corkboard by default. Pressing the outliner icon will present the documents in an outline form. You can immediately see the document title along with its synopsis, label and status tag. We can now use the outliner to drag and drop our documents, restructuring the manuscript. Note that pressing option click whilst dropping a document will disable drop-ons. The outliner is a powerful feature. If we were using Word to achieve a similar result, this is where we would be copying and pasting. Also note that if you go to the Documents Move menu, you can find keyboard shortcuts for moving items around in the outliner. Up, down, left and right. The keyboard shortcuts are command control and then an arrow to move the document up, down, left or right. If I select my entire draft folder and go to the outliner, clicking this disclosure triangle will give an outline of our entire manuscript. If I happen to have subfolders, holding down the option key whilst opening the triangle would open all documents. We mentioned a moment ago that clicking on a folder in the binder opens it in the corkboard by default. But we can change this behaviour. If we open up Preferences and go to the Navigation pane, you can see that I can choose how folders should be opened when we click on them. We could change it to open folders in the Outliner by default. If I was outlining as I went along, I could simply create a new document from within the Outliner, titling it New Document in this instance. Add a synopsis, immediately seeing the document created in my binder. Later, I could go into the document, read the synopsis, then flesh out the document text. If I double click on the icon of the document in the type column, it automatically drills down to show me the content of the document. I can then hit the back button in the header bar to return to the outliner mode. Adding a new document can be done in a variety of ways, by the toolbar, or by pressing Command N. The document will be created directly beneath the selected document. I can also add a new folder via the toolbar or by pressing Option Command N. Finally, I can even just select a row and hit Return to create a new document, although this behavior can be turned off via the navigation preferences. If I have the inspector open, it updates to show information for the selected document in the outliner. This means that I can add notes to the notes pane of the inspector as I work in the outliner. If I have added a new document, along with a brief description of what I intend the document to be about in the synopsis, I could also add more extensive notes in the inspector, which will be waiting for me when I go to write the text of the document later. Scrivener does not force any style of writing onto the writer. If you are the type of writer used to outlining, you could outline your entire draft writing your titles, synopses, and structuring your whole text before you started writing. You could then drill down into each document by clicking here, read your synopsis, and then write. If you wanted to just go ahead and write your first draft without structuring, you would probably have this draft at least broken down into chapters, or, in the case of a novel or screenplay, scenes. In Scrivener, it is entirely up to you how small or large you want to make each chunk of writing within a project. When completed, you could assign concrete synopses 
to the chapters or sections and then use the outliner to step back and get an overview of the whole work, dragging sections around and adding new ones to fill in later where necessary. This is a great tool. Seeing the entire novel or thesis without having to read all the text, getting an overview from the synopses and quickly ascertaining if the story or argument works. Clicking on this button in the outliner allows us to show or hide different columns. Most of the metadata that can be associated with a document can be added as a column in the outliner. For instance, I can simply add the word count and even drag columns around to suit. We can also choose to have the outliner rows highlighted with a label color associated with each document using view, outliner, tint rows with label color. One very useful thing you can do in the outliner is make batch changes to columns with checkboxes. For instance, if I make the including draft and page break before columns visible, these are represented as checkboxes. If I option click on a checkbox, the on or off setting will get applied to all visible documents. I can make batch changes to the label or status of a document by selecting multiple rows using the shift or command key and then control clicking and selecting a new label or status via the label or status submenu of the contextual menu. Note that the inspector always only shows information for one document at a time, so changing the label or status there will not change these settings for anything other than the document displayed in the inspector, the title of which is at the top of the index card. I can get a word count for a selection of documents by selecting multiple documents and control clicking on them. Note that the word and character count is at the bottom in grey. Another word count feature is the target column, but you can learn more about that in the video on statistics. For those who like three pane outliners, one extremely cool feature introduced by Scrivener is provided by two arrow buttons at the bottom of the outliner. If I split the pane in the outliner and then click this button here so that it goes blue, clicking any document in the outliner will open that document in the other editor. I can split the screen either horizontally or vertically by option clicking. This allows me to work in the outliner and see the underlying documents represented by rows in the outliner at the same time. I can turn it off by clicking again and turning the arrows back from blue to black. OK, that concludes our tutorial video on using synopses within the outliner. I hope that it has been a good introduction to this powerful tool. Goodbye for now.